There are some things in life you cannot explain. Like the Stonehenge, the Bermuda Triangle, or why human beings yawn. And why do human beings keep pets? Caring for your children makes sense. They may provide for you in the future. From an evolutionary point of view, caring for your human family also makes sense. They share our genes. So it is a way to make sure our genes continue. But why care for a random dog, cat or any random animal? Yet millions of people around the world, across different cultures, keep pets and consider them family. Puti used to come to my door and call out to me. I used to feed her a little whenever she came to my door. Then I noticed she was pregnant. I was really worried. I had never taken care of animals before. But she kept coming to my house. She gave birth in my house, but then she got sick. I was so stressed. I didn't know what to do. I called and messaged everyone I knew. I took her to the vet, gave her medicines, but she died. She was my first pet. I cried so much when she died. It might sound strange to some people. Before Bhutti, it would have sounded strange, even to me. But after Bhutti, I think I can understand the love pet parents have for their pets. Bhutti has changed me and has left me a very special present, my Bono and Toto. So uh, we just met your two lovely kittens, but uh, tell us a little bit about them. Um, what is their name, for instance? The one behind you is Bono. This is Bono. Yes, and the other one with the stripe is Toto. Okay. And yeah, this one is Toto. Okay. Hi. <laughs> hi. Hi, Toto. Say hi. Hi, Toto. Hi. <laughs> so this is Toto. Uh -huh. I actually thought uh, she was or is a male, uh -huh. but then turns out she's a female. So. Mm -hmm. So that's why her name is Toto. Why did you think she was a male? Because of the stripe, because this is my first time um, having pets, oh. and especially cats. Mm -hmm. And then I just assumed that because of her pattern, I thought <laughs> she is a male, but then it turns out, yeah, she's a female and a very feisty one. Yeah, she's yeah. quite feisty and she has a little bit like, she's more reserved, no? Yes, compared to Bono, she's reserved, mm -hmm. but she's very vocal. And then what do you mean that when you say she's vocal? Uh, especially um, in the morning at around 6, they will come to my door, my bedroom's door, and then 
uh, Dodo will be the first one to make sounds. And then when I don't open the door, uh -huh. she will jump at my door, uh, asking to feed them. Uh -huh. So I have to wake up and then feed them and then go back to sleep. Mm -hmm. So, And Bono, she isn't that vocal, but she's very naughty. Mm -hmm. Compared to Dodo, she's very naughty. And um, yeah, she will be the first one to climb on things mm. <laughs> and then Dodo will follow. So they have very distinct characteristics. Yes, yes. and uh, Bono is very friendly with anyone. Everybody. Okay. Mm -mm. And Dodo takes her time to get used to people and then and then only she will go near the people and maybe play with them. But for the first time, Bono is the one who is friendly with everyone. And who do you think uh, clings on to you more? Who do you think loves you more? Um, actually, um, I would like to believe that they love me. <laughs> like both. Yes. Both of them love me. Yeah. But then um, Dodo needs more attention compared to Bono. Oh, really? Yes, Bono is a bit independent. So, uh, how old are they and what were you doing right now with the thread? Uh, they just run five months mm -hmm. and because they wouldn't stop scratching on my furniture, see what <laughs> they have done here. So yeah, I, yeah, they really tore it yeah. up. So, I bought a thread and uh -huh. then tied around the furniture because okay. so that they can scratch here and spare my furniture. <laughs> So yeah, so and uh, it's uh, funny because you were telling me that in the beginning you didn't even like cats that much. Yeah, is it funny that now you are doing so much for your cats? I never really liked cats, especially, mm -hmm. but then um, because their mother barked in one day, <laughs> so I had no choice but to take care of them. Mm -hmm. Now we, I think, we are a family. And now that you're mentioning the mother, tell us a little bit about their mother. When their mother came to me, she was heavily pregnant with them. And then uh, she would always meow outside my yeah. door asking yeah. for food. So yes. I started feeding her. And then one day she stopped uh, leaving the house. Uh -huh. So I had no choice <laughs> but to keep her. Yes. Now I, I cannot send a heavily pregnant cat out, right? So yes. I had to take care of her. Yeah. When I saw the kittens for the first time, <laughs> it scared me so much that I ran away <laughs> into my room and called my friend. Uh, that there's a kitten in my house. Uh, what do I do? So yes. it was my first time. Yes. So it, it was scary, but their mother, which I named Butti, uh, took care of our kittens well. Uh, but then when they turned two months, she suddenly started getting sick mm -hmm. and then I took her to the hospital. I did everything I could and I was calling everyone because yes. it's my first time and I didn't know what to do yeah. and I called everyone who had pets and I searched online as well. Yeah, you called me also. Yes, yes. <laughs> you didn't know what to do. Yeah, yeah. and then, but then uh, she was undergoing treatment but then she passed away unfortunately so when she passed away I wondered how I will look after the kittens yes. because they were still drinking their mom's milk and suddenly their mother passed away so I didn't know what to do so I tried giving them milk but the milk didn't suit them well so they had diarrhea so I really panicked a lot and I had a hard time uh, getting adjusted to two newborn kittens yes. But then I have learned a lot <laughs> through trials and error. Yeah. And yeah, now they are doing great. Yeah. And then uh, when Buti died, I, I would say that Dodo being the smartest, mm -hmm. she actually, she was clinging to her mother, the sick mother. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, uh, I think it's the mother's love that even while Buti herself was sick, mm -hmm. very sick, she was holding on to Dodo I, and then that really yeah, you know yeah. touched me and then yeah. I, was, I was crying <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what to do I was holding her I was crying and then that scene particularly broke my heart yeah, yeah. because she was so sick herself and she's still looking after her yeah, kitten yeah. yeah and then that really you know broke my heart and I promised myself promised to myself that I should keep them happy because they don't have mother anymore so I have to take their mother's place so I tried my best
지대매 번호 지대매 In the beginning, I struggled a lot. I didn't know what they ate. I had to research a lot. I still research. Some things give them diarrhea, and some things make them constipated. My friends say I'm too paranoid and should take it easy, but I can't. I think Buddhist death has made me wary. When they were smaller, I used to grind rice into fine powder. I would make them rice porridge with vegetables and meat. Now I boil rice and vegetables like carrots, pumpkin, and potatoes. And once it's cooked properly, I blend it with my blender. And then once it's cooled, I mix in some packaged kitten food. They're quite choosy about their food. They don't eat shakam or sardines too much. Their favorite is the packaged tuna kitten food. Okay. Two chanchuge. Dodo, pajoge. Pajoge. Ni dodo. Ni bono. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause <laughs> Hey, yeah, yeah. Chimindu, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. Bono, yeah, bono, bono, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ah, better. Astish, astish, astish. I don't realize how time flies with them. I love playing with them. They're very smart and quirky in their own ways. They're quite destructive too. I think because they're still quite young, they're curious and will climb over my curtains, scratch on my furniture and cushions. So I try to play with them whenever I can to keep them engaged and use up their excess energy. Plus, they make me laugh. Bono nasho, bono nasho. Nyege sho sho, sho sho nyege. Kole, ya, sho, nyege sho, nyege. Bono nasho, nasho. Kuntu ge me, kuntu ge to. 
Bunu şu, bunu şu, bunu niye ge? Niye ge, niye ge, anlaşıyor, anlaşıyor, anlaşıyor. Ya, durma şu ta. Ya, şu, durma şu. Ne, şu, şu. Another thing I learned since having cats, just like human babies, cat babies also need a lot of sleep to grow properly. They usually like to snuggle up next to me and will sleep peacefully together. It got really stressful, you know, when they were sick and I didn't know what happened to them. They were, they had diarrhea. And then I took them to hospital, and then the doctor there wanted to inject my daughter, but I, I told them no because I had that bad trauma from what is their mother's death because we were undergoing undergoing treatment, and then Buti died in the middle of the treatment, so I couldn't take the risk. Risk, so I told the doctor, please give me one week. I'll try and change their diet and see. So maybe even after the change of diet, if they are sick, I'll bring them for injection, say. But then, thankfully, they got well. So, yeah, they're doing well right now. And, you know, uh, there won't be a person who's more than happy seeing their stool, which is firm, <laughs> rather than the diarrhea <laughs> one. So, yeah, I get happy every time I see their firm stool. Even while at work, you know, I'll call my brother who was, uh, who was at home, like, yeah. before he joined the college. I would call him and, like, tell him to, please feed my cat, and then, send me a picture of their litter box <laughs> so that I can see if their poop is a watery one or a firm one. So if I see the firm one, I'll be happy. Uh -huh. So if it is like watery one, it will make me anxious and uh -huh. I'll run back to them. This is what you call mining. <laughs> yes, in my own words, I call it mining because I have to, you know, sieve the <laughs> their poop and then separate it from the litter okay. so that they can use it. Mm. So where do you get the cat litter from? Uh, I get it from the pharmacies in town. Mm. Uh, there are a couple of pharmacies mm. who sell cat litter, mm. but the supply is not constant. Mm. Sometimes. Um, I cannot find the litters and I'll have to call the shops around mm. asking around if they have litters. Mm. So yeah, the pharmacies. Okay. And uh, how often do you have to change the litter? Um, I, I clean it every morning, mm. evening and then oh, the whole litter I'll change in a week or two. So even while making a plans, I first have to think about my cats. Yes. Know, who's going to take care of them when I'm not there. So yes. I'll have to plan it in advance and oh. ask my uncle and aunt to <laughs> look after my cat mm -hmm. or help me look after the cat. Mm. And sometimes I ask my brother mm. to look after the cat so that I can go out. Mm. So, yeah, you have to make adjustments with pets as well. Mm. I cannot leave them, no? Yeah. And uh, tell us about how, like, once they've pooped, or, or, or you have to clean their uh, butt. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you have to clean uh, their bum. Yeah, you, actually, uh, the cats are supposed to be a very uh, clean animal, I think, because yes. they groom themselves, unlike yes. the dogs. Yes. But because I'm kind of sensitive when it comes to their poop, because I don't want them smearing it on places. Yes. So I make sure to wipe their bum as well. <laughs> So, I, uh, and they let you wipe the bum? Yes, they're used to it by now. <laughs> because you, yeah. You've really become their mother now. Yeah, yeah. And it's, I think it's kind of annoying for them as well. Mm. First time, like, while I tried wiping their bum, mm. they scratched me. But <laughs> now they have gotten used to me, so it's fine now.
you have transitioned so much what do you think of yourself what do you think of this transition are you happy or are you amazed do you find it weird what do you think of this transition that you've made actually i'm a very i would say i'm a very reserved i like my me time i really enjoy my me time yes. but then because of the cats yeah. my life has become very um i would say hectic i would say yeah. but at the same time it's they are my joy mm -hmm. so it makes me happy mm -hmm. uh, when i see them waiting for me at the door when i open the door after my work mm -hmm. and and looking uh, at myself now yeah. and if i compare it to last year yes i was a very i was like my life was very slow like mm -hmm. it was moving in slow pace like i'll go to work come back mm -hmm. relax a bit Uh, eat my food and then it was relaxed again but now rather than relaxing yeah. I'll, as soon as I get home uh -huh. I will clean their litter mm -hmm. I'll give them something to eat yeah and then wash up clean do everything and then I'll cook their food yes and it has become hectic mm -hmm. but I enjoy uh, yeah I enjoy my time with them so you think it's all been worth it yeah it's worth it I would say um, I I I feel like they have brought so much joy in my life mm. that sometimes you know um, staying alone away from your family or your parents can get a bit lonely. Yes. But now because they are in my life, yeah. uh, I'm happier, I would say. And yeah, they are my friends, they are my family. They give me so much joy yes. and they bite me as <laughs> well. <laughs> Your But furry family. Yes, I would say my life has turned out to be a uh, beautiful one. Yeah, because of them, because they are in it. ポンドショ。ポンドショ。ショ、違うショ。ショな。よし、よし、ポンドショ。When Butchi gave birth to the kittens, I was like, okay, I'll keep the mother, I'll keep the kittens for two, three months, and then I'll give them away for adoption. Mm. And then I was trying not to get close to them. Yes. And even while I was playing with Butchi, I, I was trying to maintain my distance from them. Uh -huh. But then, you know, while I was sit here and watch TV and hold Butchi, they would come to my side, and then slowly they like they actually forced their way into <laughs> into the, your life yeah yeah into my life and yeah. the boundary i had set for myself yes but then after the death of their mother there was no way I was, i was going to give them up uh, i cannot think of giving them away now even coming back from work it would be only me to an empty house mm. but now that you know at the end of the 
end of the day, like there's this excitement that okay, I'm going back to my cats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, I always run, run back to them <laughs> at the end of the day. I used to live alone before. I didn't have many responsibilities. I liked my independent life. Now I'm solely responsible for Bono and Dodo. It is a huge responsibility. Bono, <laughs> It is a big commitment to keep pets, but I think it is worth it for all the wonderful things they bring into your life. I'm amazed at myself, my transition from no pets to having my life revolve around Bono and Dodo. But I would not change anything. The joy and love they bring into my life is priceless. I thank Puchi for walking into my house for making it a home. Why do human beings keep pets? The reasons could be many, could be different for different people. But one thing's for sure. One thing that we can take away from Pemzam, Buti, Bono and Dodo's story is that there's always a reason. Everything seems to happen for a reason in life. You just have to see it. <laughs> Like to adopt some, there are places that you can reach for help. If you would like to help by donating food, medicine, or even a house for a dog, uh, you can contact the same places. You can also reach out to us at Animals of Bhutan on Instagram and we can coordinate it for you. Say